Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 38. Uh, briefly, just a quick thank you for all of you and uh, your patience during the pause of my wife and I having our third daughter. Super excited for her and for our family, and little Lily Mae is doing great. So we are back at it today. We're going to dive into command for listings, and we're going to start off by looking into designs and the listing presentation that's included in designs. So today we're actually going to build out a pre-listing packet. So we're going to go into designs. I've chosen designs here on the left hand side. I'm going to click on this big plus sign to create a new asset and I want this to be a print asset. So I'm going to click on print and click on next. Now I want you to know that even though we're choosing this as a print asset, there may be times where we actually download this and choose not to print it. We can actually email it over. So you would have that selection. Just because you're choosing a print asset doesn't mean it can't be emailed. So we have two templates. When we come into uh, our listing category and then choose the listing presentation subcategory, um, and you can decide which one of these two you want to use. I'll be honest with you, I prefer the second one. Uh, this one kills my uh, ink cartridges <laughs> with all of that black ink. So we're gonna go with the second one, and this is the template I recommend using. I'm gonna click on Use, and that's gonna load us into WeBrand, where we can start creating this pre-listing packet. Now, you'll see on the left-hand side, a series of templates. So this one's a little bit different. In the past, we've had pages, where it might be a two-page template. In the listing presentation, these are all actually individual templates that you're gonna choose to bring in. And it's a very powerful set of templates. I would argue though that the majority of it, I want my clients to see prior to actually meeting with me. And that's what we're gonna do as a pre-listing template. So you can say the first two pages here, just as kind of the intro and then the instructions, neither one of these are actually gonna to go to the client. So we're gonna come down to page three or the third template, and I'm gonna click on plus, and that's gonna add this template to my pre-listing packet. You can see down here at the bottom how many pages we have. Now, for some reason, it automatically brings in a blank page to start with. You can just click on that down arrow and trash that. Do I wanna delete it? Yes, I do. And now this becomes our first page. We're gonna come down to the fourth template and I'm gonna include that. And then when we get down to the fifth through ninth template, we're gonna skip all of these. Let's minimize those pages so you can see what we're working on. But this is specific to the property, as is this, this, and this is actually kind of our um, the discussion that we're going to have, the qualification discussion we have when we meet with our clients about learning more about them, how soon they need to be there, etc. I don't think this needs to be in the pre-listing packet either. The goal of this pre-listing packet is to have one template that you send out to every single client that you don't have to make very many changes to. So moving down, this is our ninth template. And from here, we're actually gonna include every template afterwards. So I'm just gonna click on plus. It's gonna bring that one in. And then we're slowly just gonna go through and bring in each one of these templates into our setup. And you can see at the bottom, our page count is going up as we bring in these templates. We're at six pages, seven pages, eight pages, and so on. All of these template pages on the left-hand side after we got past page uh, eight, these are all uh, pages that don't really have to be changed per property. They're gonna remain the same on all of our properties. Now here we get into some of the numbers driven conversations. Um, I'm gonna choose this first one, right? And this second one, although it's very comprehensive, there were a lot of these numbers that I was having difficulty tracking down. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to skip this page. I think it's very comprehensive. I think it's great for those who are very analytical. Um, and yet, I, especially down here at the bottom, I struggled to find these numbers. So we're going to leave it as this page. We're going to skip this one. Now, if you have access to all of these numbers, especially the ones at the bottom, highly recommend including it. Um, but I'm just being transparent. I couldn't find them, so I'm going to skip it. Credentials and awards, no issue. We've got those. We're going to keep coming down and just including all of these. Now, here's Portfolio of Excellence. There's actually two versions of this page. These are essentially your past solds. So if you have past solds, you can feel free to include those. If you don't, you're a newer agent, then I would just say skip these pages as well. 
Um, obviously, you would want to continue to update these pages. If you're you know, saving this as a template, you would continue to send out. So it's a question of whether or not you, know, you want to update these every time. I'm actually going to skip both of these and I'm going to leave them for our listing presentation, not included in the pre-listing packet. Same with featured listings. This is something that I want to create per listing packet. The pre-listing packet I want to be universal. So I'm going to skip this page as well. We're going to get down into reviews. That's fine. Here's the promise. And then the bottom line page. So there you have all of that. You can choose this last page again, another ink killer with that black background. Um, we're gonna just include that, but we're probably gonna change the background. So now you can see we have an 18 page design. And as we go through, it's a little bit different again when we're working with this because we have to use the pages button to go through and see everything that we have. So again, you can see here is through 13. And then if we just keep on moving over, you would get to 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let's go back up to number one. And now we're going to this, ideally, this is the only page that we would have to change in our pre-listing packet. Once we save all the other changes permanently, this is the only one we would have to adjust. So this is a custom consultation exclusively prepared for. I would come in, click on the names of my clients, and I'm gonna just change that. Let's just say this is, uh, Marty and Nicole, and I'll save those changes. And then uh, I made it a little bit bigger. It pushed it to three lines. So I can click on this vertical bar and scoot that over a little bit. Now it's on two lines. Let's go into the last name and change that to Miller. Perfect, we've got save changes. On any of the photos that are included throughout all of these templates, if for any reason you want to change them, you can always click on the photo and then it takes you into images and you can choose any of these style, lifestyle, uh, at home, activities, neighborhoods, house types. Each of these are folders that when you open up have a ton of different photos in here, right? So you can kind of custom tailor this however you'd like. So if I wanted to change this photo with this one, I would just click on the replace image button and you can see it changes it out. KWDBA name, I do need to alter that. So I would come in find my company or my library has my DBA logos here and I would just replace that one. And let me move it up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna come in and change my name. And again, here's the nice thing. Once I do this, I only have to do it once because then the only things I'm changing after that point are essentially the names of the client that I'm going on the actual, uh, or that I'm scheduling the packet with. The, the appointment with, excuse me. So let's move that over so that looks good. It's on the same line. Let's do all caps. That's just a personal preference there. And I'm kind of showing you how to make these changes on this first page uh, because this is what you're gonna do consistently throughout the rest of the changes. It's basically, you can just click on each one of these text boxes. This button right here, the Half Eaten Hershey Bar is what I like to call that. It's the typewriter button that opens up so that you can then edit whatever you've selected as far as the, the uh, text goes. I can come down here and click on the contact box and let's go ahead and put in my phone number. Uh, you're gonna wanna have your app link available. You can actually get this from within the consumer tab. So you probably wanna copy and paste that over. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you put in your email address here as well. And then I'm gonna put in my website martymiller.kw.com. And for now, I'm just gonna remove this app page there and save the changes, okay, just to show you. All right, so now let's see, I'm gonna move that down just a little bit. And now we have this one done. Once this has been done, oops, I need to move my first name down too, sorry about that. Now all I have to do in the future is just change out the name of the client. This page is completely done. I'm gonna come back to templates Right, I'm gonna look at the pages and let's go now to page two. Oops, did I change my headshot? I didn't change my headshot on page one. Sorry about that, let's go back. I don't know who this young lady is, but she's not me. So let's go back to images, my library. I've got my headshot saved. I can just replace that pretty quickly. Let's move that up so it's nice and even. There we go, boom and done, okay? So back to templates, go to pages. You can skip to page two. The only thing we need to change in here again is your headshot. If you have photos of the front of their house, you could always bring those up uh, and change out these images for those, but I don't think it's necessary. We're gonna go, <coughs> excuse me, into the third page of our template. 
you want to read through this and make sure you do all of these things. However, I don't really see anything on here that I would need to change. So I can go to the fourth page. Again, it kind of talks about what happens when we go to sell. Make sure you have your download app. So again, this is something you're going to want to have available. I'll show you how to find that in just a second. And then essentially, then you're going to go through each of these pages and make sure there's no information that you need to change. And the majority of these marketing-based pages, you're not really having to change anything. Uh, let me make sure the app link wasn't in this one. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, also, just be careful on the formatting. Sometimes it gets a little bit wonky depending on your monitor. I can bring that over just a little bit. Go on to the next page. Everything looks good there, nothing that needs to be changed. I would make sure, obviously, that you're very well aware of what's included in all of these so that you are actually doing them when it comes time, you know, when they're asking you, hey, you didn't do what you said you were going to do. Well, I don't know. I never said that. Yes, you did. It was in your pre-listing packet. So make sure you understand everything that's being in included. Now, this one is the changes that we need to make to our actual numbers. So this page does need to be edited. First things first, let's go ahead and change the headshot. Second, I would come in and change my name. My team name, um, I can put in, right? And here's the other clue here, like this is kind of difficult to read for me. I can come down here and actually click on zoom in, make it much easier to read. So I would come in and change anything that I have as far as some key uh, assets, you know, my degree, whether, you know, any of my kind of accreditations and things like that here. Uh, I've not been in the business for 15 years, so I would come in, I would change that 15 to seven and save the changes. Uh, total clients served. I've not served 268. I'm at 167. Save changes. Uh, repeat clients. I'll be honest with you. I have a hard time tracking this because these 167 were both when I was on my team and then as an individual. I'm going to change this number to one that I feel is powerful, which is with my CMA, I can actually track recent history and my numbers. So this is a comparative market analysis of my actual recently sold properties. And you can see down here that my sales price to list price average is 99.72 and my days on market is 35. So I'm gonna come in and actually change that to 35 by clicking on the keyboard, 35. And then I'm gonna change this to average days on market and save that change. And so then I can squeak that over just a little bit and squeak that over a little bit. And there we go. Now that looks good. And then I'm going to come back in. What was that number? It was 99.72 and change that. So you can kind of change these numbers to whatever you want to be, um, you know, and then format the box to make sure that they look good. So I'll move that over and there you go um maybe we need to check out that percentage or i could just put 99.7 that's close enough right save changes and then change that box and this is uh sold to list price percentage and let's make that two lines see what that looks like in the box that looks good and now these are important numbers for me you can go in and change whatever numbers that you want as well. Last thing you'd want to change is your DBA name here and then the address and information on your actual market center. Uh, once we go to the next page, you're going to put in your accreditation or excuse me. Uh, yeah, these are credentials and awards for Keller Williams. So you have the ability to leave these alone or if you want to come in and put any of your own credentials and awards, you could do that as well. Uh, finally, leading the industry, nothing that I need to change on this one. Page 15, I would go through and actually put in my recommendations, change these out, right? And then the promise, pretty powerful. Make sure you read that and you understand what you're promising to do. Bottom line, right? And then you can scan in your own signature or just put your name or na whatever you wanted to put there. And then finally, you would go through and change this out. Here's what I'm gonna do because I don't wanna kill my printer. I'm gonna actually go through and change this to white. Then I know there's a bunch of text here. I'm going to change all of that text back to black. And that way it makes it a little easier on my printer not to have to print all of that black ink toner in the background. Um, and then I can just change my DBA logo as well. Uh, let's get that back up. Oh, where'd it go? There we are. 
And I can actually just get rid of this one and then drop this one in, shrink that down a little bit, and there you have it. All right, so that was a quick and simple way to go through what's the pre or the list, it's actually the listing presentation, but what we have now done is gone through and pulled out the pages that we wanted to use as a pre-listing packet. So we've got 18 pages of templates that we've now gone in and edited all the templates. I'm gonna come up here and I'm actually going to make sure that I title this pre-listing packet. All right, so that saves this actual design in my command. And then when the time comes, I would go to download this and I would say, hey, I want the PDF and I want uh, all of the pages. I want high resolution print quality. Don't need to do any of these. And then I could start the download. And now I'm gonna have a PDF of this listing packet that I can either choose to print or I can actually send it if I'm for any reason emailing my pre-listing packet. Once I am finished, I would then click on done. And now the nice thing is that this pre-listing packet is now a template that I can come back in, let's say, I don't know, a week from now, I'm going on another listing presentation or I got another appointment and I could click on this. And now the only thing that I have to change, unless my statistics drastically changed, the only thing that I would have to edit would be to come in and click on page one and I would change out this information, right? As far as the pre-listing packet goes to the name of my new clients. And then I'm done. That's how quick I can send that pre-listing packet. Tomorrow, we're gonna focus on the listing presentation. We're gonna use this same template but we're gonna pull out the pages that have to do with the actual stats and numbers that we would discuss at a listing presentation. So that's it, sorry for a little bit longer video today, but uh, telling you how to get into designs and create your own pre-listing packet for the use with your clients. As always, hope everyone's having a fantastic Monday. I'll look forward to speaking with you soon.